Hello, hello. It's me here doing something that I haven't done. Well, I did do actually. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, there we go. <clears throat> Better. Is it getting the whole thing? Dude, yes it is. Dude, 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 dude. This is Team Fortress Arcade. It's a fan game based off Team Fortress, which I've been playing more and more recently. Anyway, I'm gonna be trying out all nine classes. And I'm gonna do two as Pyro. But, you know, for now, let's just have the medic over with. I don't like him. Anyway. I'm player two because the H key on my computer is broken. Oktoberfest, yeah. And, um. The medic can heal his allies. Well, if they, he would if you were in multiplayer. That's why medic is most useless on your own. Which is why it's the first level, the easiest level. Anyway. By pressing Z and X at the same time, or rather, for me, it's Z and then X, you can do a melee attack, which is Medic's only real useful trait in this game. Because most melee attacks want us to kill any non-boss character. And guess who the boss... And anyway, the reason you are playing as the blue team, which luckily for me is my favorite team, is um because... Blue is always the one that attacks the control points, and red is the one that always goes and defends them. That's why they've got setup time. The character selects that setup time. Oh, and either Engineer made this or someone else. Lemons! You'll get that eventually. There is no save feature in Team Fortress Arcade, but there are ten levels that are that will each take about mm, three to five minutes. So, depending on your character, at least some levels will take like forever if you don't do the boss. Also, the medic kills himself slightly every second by one point. And all the characters' health is the exact same as it is in the regular Team Fortress games, which is... Mm, I like how they did that. Defend yourself! Dude. So yeah, the docks here, as you can see, red is everywhere. You know, red is another way to say evil, so... Yeah, I just like blue team. They didn't get enough love in the Meet the Team videos. I mean, in Meet the Spy, they were awesome. I'm being killed. I mean, come on. You can do better than that. You're blue. You are the builders, not the destroyers. Oh, wait. Maybe you will do worse. Carry on. Um, you can have infinite continues. Um, you can attribute this game to side scrolling beat em ups. This game was made in Game Maker, I think, actually. And you can download it for free on ericrusgames.com, so it's nice. I want to eat your dust. Um, regular scout can't do that. Each bot, each character boss does at least one thing that the actual version can't. Mm, it's expected though. I mean, the bosses can't just be re. Can't. That would be too easy. What happens if you do hit one with a melee weapon? Well, nothing, apparently. Because I should have hit him. Oh. Not much. I'm going to stick with the syringe gun. It should fire faster. Also, syringes and stuff like this are the only bullets that you actually see. Just like in Team Fortress. The bullets, you cannot see them. They're just there. They travel at speeds of unknown. And the only part you can see is the trail. Stand there, stand there, keep standing. Ow.
do 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 Oh, there's a glitch. If the scout stands right here, he will not be able to move out because, you know... I'm jumping on your body! Donkey. Boom cuffs. Anyway. Yeah, that's the first level, the docks. That was the first boss, the scout. So the next... And some of the levels are based off of modes. You'll definitely see that in the second level, the mines.